morning people, how are you all diddling? It's a bright, sunny, clear skyed one today, so let's crack on with it. Shut up and sit down. Yeah, it's a bright and clear one, rather cool this morning, but it's supposed to be going to warm up later on, which is what we like to hear. Yeah, today I'm having a ride to Selby. Going to go see two of my sons, I do have four. I'm going to see Dale and Paul. Oh, Paul and Dale, because I'm seeing Paul first. But first, I need to uh, just nip to cash point and get some money, and possibly a Diet Coke. I was going to get some fuel, but we've only done 33 miles. Right, that's cash done. A bottle of Coke. Actually, I've changed from Diet Coke to Diet Pepsi. I think I'm enjoying the taste better. So, get off to Selby now. I'm meeting my son Paul at McDonald's in Selby. I'll have a bit of lunch. It was over Big Mac. Yeah. Fill my veins with all that unhealthy shyness. And pop it out of Dale's house for an hour, an hour and a bit before he goes to work. I think I need to get in front of this horse box. Don't want to go tear ass in past it. Because it'll scare shit out of horse. To be honest, I don't think I have a choice. It's clear while well, we're going to slower. Yeah, I'm in no rush to get there. It's gonna be early as it is. So I might stop at that petrol station. About two thirds it wait. Just grab ten minutes. Right, I'm gonna take a Ten minute break in here. I don't need to. But I'm going to be well early. That's Custis. Keep meaning to go there for someone to eat at some point, but not today. Where she's in all the glory. I do like her. Getting quite hungry actually. Man, yeah, I was up at stupid o'clock for no apparent reason on a Saturday. What are you ridiculous? <sighs> Drink your diet Pepsi. Uh, right, get on my way. Yeah, if I'd have known beforehand, uh, before I arranged this with my sons, uh, I would have gone to Squires today, because it's rolling thunder into the centre of York, and I really wanted to do that. But alas, I had pre-arranged plans. There's the distinct smell of farming round here. Oh, I wish you had smell-o-vision. Get that in your lungs. Bloody lovely. Brings back so many memories of being up farm. Speaking of farms, countryside, etc. So a house of sale, sanctuary or something it's called. Mr Garbutt, Paul Garbutt, it's his family home. And it's up for auction, starting at, starting at 250,000. And it's absolutely lovely. It'd be perfect for me, would that? Anybody want to lend me a quarter of a million? Well, seriously, it'd be, it'd be lovely to live there. Yes, I'm moving away from coast. It's sort of like between Pickering and York. Oh, what a cracking little place. It's only a two-bedroom bungalow. But yeah, that would be my ideal place. So if you're up for uh, buying a new house near York, two-bedroom bungalow in just under an acre of land, loads of outbuildings, very quiet, very secluded, check out the sanctuary. I think it's... I think it goes on auction end of this month. Uh, 
Yeah, Selby Abbey. Lovely inside that. And your Selby is a nice town. Lived here for a lot of years. Just a little bit clicky. But the moving in thing, that's that that's got to be done as that. Right, love you and I will catch you later. Right, drive safe. Well it was lovely seeing my son Paul, McDonald's and a nice chat. It's nice when my son's asked me for advice on the futures or on the future. Do you know what? I'm so proud of all my sons. They've all turned out great. They all have the priori priorities right. They're all hard workers and family's important to them. You couldn't ask for more in your kids. Right, go see if I can find out where uh, if I can find Dale's house now. Is it this one? I think so. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's not that one. Not that one. Didn't think I came all the way around here. That's this one. That one. Bishop Court, this is the one. Hello. Hello. Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> Come on then. Come on then. Okay, alright, alright, enough. Let me get my helmet off. You're welcome. I didn't know that one actually got. No. I know on my way over that you'd want to. Well you had a go on it when it before it was chops, didn't you? Yeah, but I said to you then I didn't like the handlebars because they're too wide. Yeah. No, it's not that I listen to you. It's just that I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, right, love you, and I'll catch you later. All right, tell her. All right, hello again, people. Nice to see my son Dale and Jess and kids. What is home time now? I need to pull over. Because my phone's in my back pocket and I want to put it in my jacket pocket. Open your bugger. Right, I won't be worried about falling out on smashing up road now. Well, I'm not far from home. It's been a, it's been a lovely day. I've nice seen my two sons, Dale and Paul. Obviously, Dale's family, Jess and everybody, and kids. I'm mixing family with biking. That's always a good thing. So I'm going to leave it there for now, folks. Let's hope interesting happens between now and home. So, as usual, ride safe, be strong, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Shut up and sit down.